everybody, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, people? Coming to you live, House of X Entertainment presents, it's me, Monster, yes! Everybody, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, people? Good morning, guys. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Time Talk. How are you guys? Thank you guys so much for coming in this morning. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. We're going to give folks just a little bit of time to come on in, to come on in. Welcome in, welcome in. Get your hearts, get your minds, your bodies, and your souls together this morning, guys. Come on in, come on in. If you need prayer, make sure you put a two in the chat. Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you all. Make sure you guys share it out if you can. Share it out if you can this morning. Welcome to the live. Thank you all for being here. You are amazing. You are amazing. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the premiere, guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for being here. All right. We're going to go into prayer very soon. Get your hearts, your minds, your bodies, your spirits, and your souls together, guys, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Come on in. Come on in, everyone. Thank you all. Thank you all so much for being here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in to the live stream. Thank you guys, thank you guys. Welcome to the live. Okay, we'll just wait a little bit and then we're going to prayer. All right. Yes, come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on in. Come on in, everyone. Okay. Come on in, guys. Shout out to everyone that's in the stream. You guys are amazing. All right, guys, in about a few minutes, we're going to go into prayer this moment. All right, now. Okay, guys. Let us go into prayer. Father, we thank you for this morning. We also thank you for this time. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for this day, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we come to you right now, God, asking today, God, that you would touch our bodies, that you would even touch our minds, that you would even touch our souls this morning, Father God. We come to you now asking, dear God, that you would heal us, that you would strengthen our bodies and that you would strengthen our minds, even our hearts and even our souls, God. 
Lord God, we even come to you now asking, dear God, that you would touch us from the very crown of our heads to the sole of our mighty feet, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we do pray. Father God, we even ask, dear God, that you would meet us where we are this morning, Father God, and that you would have mercy upon us this morning, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we pray. Now, God, we even ask, dear God, that you remember rejoice with Jeannie and her daughter, Father God, her family. God, touch them and strengthen them and even bless them this morning. Oh, God, even have mercy upon their soul. Have mercy upon their life this morning. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we ask that you even breathe afresh upon them. God, touch their mighty body, touch their hearts, and even touch their minds, and even touch their souls this morning. Father God, in Jesus' name, God, we even ask, say, God, that you would also remember the empowered, inspired mama this morning, Father God. Lord God, we come to you now asking dear God, that you would breathe afresh upon her. Oh, God, that you would even touch. Oh, God, that you would even strengthen this morning, Father God, and breathe and come into this life this morning, Father God, and have your way this morning, Father God. We do pray. And God, we even ask, say, God, that you would bless her in her going out and even in her coming in. This morning, Father God, we ask that you also remember walk with me, Tiffany, this morning. Oh, God, that you would go before her to these doctor's appointments, Father God. And Lord God, that you would even heal her body, heal her mind, and even heal her spirit this morning, Father God. God, we thank you for her life. We thank you for her health. We even thank you for her strength this morning, God. Comfort and even bless her this morning, Father God. We do pray, God, we even ask that you even take full control over her life this morning. Oh, God, even remember her in such a special way, Father God. We ask that you even take full control, God. We ask that you will continue to heal her mind and heal her spirit and even heal her body and even heal her soul this morning, God. Remember her children, oh God, even her family this morning, God. Touch them and strengthen them this morning, God. Lord God, we come to you now asking you remember sexy too much, Father God. Even her, her daughter, Father God, Lord, touch and bless and strengthen. Remember Lady C in such a special way this morning. God, we ask that you also remember Miss Anita, Father God, oh God, now even even her sister, God. We lay her sister before you this morning, Father God. And God, we ask that you breathe afresh upon her body this morning, God, in the name of Jesus. God, now remember Mr. Nita, oh God. Lord God, we come to you now asking that God that you would fix the affliction. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, you know her by name and you know her by nature, Father God. Lord God, even show yourself mighty, show yourself strong within her life this morning. God, we do pray. We even ask you, remember her son this morning. Remember her daughter this morning. Father God, touch and heal and cover this morning. Father God, we pray. God, we even ask, say, God, that you would move into her home, God, and even show yourself mighty, God, and even breathe afresh upon her body. We do pray this morning, Father God, take full control this morning, God. Have your way in her life this morning, God. Breathe afresh now and today, Father God. Touch and heal this morning, God, we pray. Now, God, remember you with your boy Leo, Father God. We even ask, say, God, that you remember House of X Entertainment. Father God, you know our needs. You know the things that we need this morning, Father God. We even ask, say, God, that you would touch us. We ask, say, God, that you would come and that you would breathe afresh upon our bodies, breathe afresh upon our souls this morning, God, that you would even take full control this morning, God, and that you would have strength upon us, God. Have Grant us your favor, God. Go before us this morning, God. Even place the keys into our hands, God. This morning, Father God, we do pray. God, remember Monty this morning. We even ask that you remember Muffins this morning. God, touch them and bless them and have your way into their life and even have your way into their home, Father God. Breathe afresh upon them this morning, God. Touch and strengthen their minds and even strengthen their hearts this morning, God. We do pray. And Father God, now remember, remember Kirsten Walton, Father God. We even ask, say, God, that you would heal her, Father God. You know the situation, God. Go in and touch her. Go in and 
heal her. Go in and breathe afresh this morning, Father God. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray. Remember to the chat this morning, God. We even ask that you remember Mashonda, Father God. Oh, Father God, we come to you asking that God that you would bring her back to the YouTube community, Father God. Oh, God, we come against the spirit of depression, God. Lord God, we even ask that God that you remember her family, remember her daughter this morning, God. Even her husband this morning, God. We thank you for the everyday life of the Kelly girls. God, strengthen them and even bless them and even cover their minds and cover their spirits and even cover their hearts this morning, God. We do pray. God, we thank you for Nicole W, God. We even thank you for Sherry B this morning, God. We ask that you would lift them up and we ask that you would strengthen them. We even ask that you would cover them this morning, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we ask that you even breathe afresh upon your people this morning, Father God. We do pray, God, saturate your presence around them, God. Even breathe and touch us now and today, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we do pray, Father God, now even we Remember me and I this morning, God, we ask say, God, that you would touch them. Oh, God, even bless their business. Oh, God, so that they will lack nothing this morning, Father God. Bless their home, even bless their children this morning, Father God. Have your way within their life, oh, God. We do pray this morning. Remember the NQ this morning, Father God. We even ask that you also remember Ashley's life and Dorothy, Father God. Continue to heal their body. Continue to heal their mind, their spirit, and their soul this morning, God. We do pray, God. We even ask, say, God, that you would touch and that you would strengthen them and that you would cover them. Oh, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we do pray. We even ask, say, God, that you would saturate your presence around them, Father God. In the name of Jesus, God, we do pray. Now, God, remember Brown Girl Bella, Father God. I Acts that you would touch her, acts that you would cover her, acts that you even breathe afresh. Oh God, even bless her business. Oh God, saturate your presence around her, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I do pray. Now, God, remember, remember. Simply Mama this morning, Father God. We even ask you, you remember Tamina this morning, Father God. Even touch and strengthen her body and strengthen her mind and even her heart this morning, God. Oh God, even her spouse, Father God. I ask say God that you would touch him. I ask say God that you would even bless him this morning, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, even saturate your presence around him, Father God. We do pray. Now, God, remember Casey the stylist, God, we come to you asking that God that you would touch her, asking that God that you would strengthen her body and even strengthen her mind. Oh, God, remember her children, Father God. Bless her business, God, and her going on and even her coming in, Father God. Increase the clientele this morning, God. We do pray, Father God, remember, remember Eve believes, God, we even ask that God that you would touch her. We ask that God that you would strengthen her body and even strengthen her mind and even her soul, Father. God. Oh, God, not even even massage the body from the hurt, from the pain. Oh, God. Even remember Akeem Uzalis and his family this morning. God, bless them. Oh, God. Oh, God, let them lack nothing in their home this morning, God. We do pray. God, we thank you, oh God, for Blaze Radio, Father God. We even ask, dear God, that you would touch him and that you would strengthen him and that you would even cover him this morning, God. Lord God, we ask that you would step into Vern's situation this morning. God, we thank you for the blessing of the job this morning, God. But God, we even ask, dear God, that you would step into our home, God, and that you would fix the problem, fix the situation this morning, God. You know the need, oh God. You know the problem this morning, God. We even ask, dear God, that you would fix it this morning. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, even, oh God, help us to understand, oh God, that there is a purpose, there is a light at the end of the tunnel this morning, God, we pray. God, we ask you remember being the difference this morning. Remember PA this morning, Father God. We even ask you remember Buddha in such a special way. God, touch and strengthen her body, touch and heal her body this morning, God, we pray. Father God, we even ask that you also remember King Ivor this morning and his family, God, bless them and strengthen them and cover them on and eat your precious holy blood this morning, Father God. We even ask that God, you remember Sh Sharonda's corner, Father God. Oh God, now I even remember old school's Patricia this morning, Father God. Breathe afresh upon her, God. Even cover her on and eat your precious holy wings, God, we do pray. Now, God, remember Miss Hall, Father God, we come to you now asking, they God, that 
that you would heal her body and even heal her mind and even heal her soul this morning. Oh God, we come against every affliction in the body, God. We cast it down into the pits of hell from whence it came this morning, Father God. In the name of Jesus, God, we do pray. And now, God, we even ask, say, God, that you remember the ones that are in the hospitals, God. Even the ones that are in the prisons this morning, Father God. Lord, touch them and strengthen them and even cover them and provide for them, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we do pray. God, even the ones that may have been afflicted with COVID, God, we come to you now asking, dear God, that you would touch them. Dear God, that you would provide for them. Dear God, that you would hear their humble cry this morning, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Touch your people, God. Have your way in their life this morning, God. We do pray. And now, God, we even ask you, remember this live, God. Come in and touch your people. Come in and have your way this morning, God. We do pray. And Father God, now we even ask, say, God, that you remember me, God. Move me out of the way this morning, God, and you take over this morning, Father God. We do pray. Amen and amen and amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome in. Welcome in, guys. How are you? Thank you all for coming in. Thank you all for coming in to the live stream. All right, guys, one second. Thank you all for coming in. All right. Okay, guys, so we do have a topic this morning, but before we get into the topic, I would like to share some videos that was out. Um, some folks came out with some videos on yesterday, on yesterday, and some folks have some videos today, guys. So for many of you that did not see Yosha Boy Leo's video right here, um, it's his latest video. If you guys did not see it right here, he also has two videos. This was a day ago, Brandy Top, um, Brandy Top 10 from the album. He also have Lauren Hill, um, Top 10. So guys, make sure you go and check that out as well. So please make sure you check it out, leave a comment, share it out if you can in the name of Jesus. Also guys, um, all right, hold on one second here. Also, we have, um, oh boy, I have to go, hold on. Hold on, guys. I always spell her, your name wrong. What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh, Jesus. I always spell your name wrong, you Belize. I apologize. Okay. Here we go. Eve Belize, guys. Eve Belize. She has a premiere today at 12 o'clock. Yes, Eve Belize has a premiere today at 12 o'clock, as you guys can see right there. She has a premiere today at 12 o'clock. So I'm just going to drop my little things in here. She has a premiere today at 12. So, um, so make sure that you guys... Um, Check her out. She has a premiere today at 12. A premiere today at 12. Um, Welcome Me Tiffany came out with a video earlier today. Um, no, this was yesterday. I apologize. This was yesterday. So make sure you guys check that out too. Um, this was her previous live stream and also this video. So make sure you guys check that out as well. So check that out as well. Um, let's see if the, um, I have to catch up on the Everyday Life with Kelly Girls. I'm gonna do that today. So Everyday Life with Kelly Girls, guys, they have a few videos right here, guys. You can't, may not, may not be able to leave comments, but you can just watch the video, watch it, guys. All right, so please check them out. Please check them out, all right? Okay, so I think that's everyone. I think that's everyone. So you may you may not be able to leave comments on the videos, but you guys can just watch it. Okay. All right, guys. So let us get into our topic this morning. We have a lovely topic. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for being here. So our topic on this morning is what would you say if someone told you, are you there? A lot of times within our life, we feel that 
Um, is God there? Can he hear us? Is he standing by us? Is he near us? Sometimes when we get into situations, we feel like if God, is he there? The situation might be too hard for us to handle. We can't handle the situation. Um, we don't know if we're going to be able to come out of the sickness or to come out of the situation. We don't know if we're going to be able to bear this particular this particular burden because sometimes it's too much and we're like okay is god there can he hear me is he around is he hearing my prayers is he is he listening or he's just standing there and sometimes we're like well god are you, where are you i don't know if you're here i don't know if you hear me i don't know if you're there or not you understand what i'm saying and sometimes we're like, God, do you hear me? Are you hearing me? Have, are you there? You understand? So sometimes we're like, God, have, are you hearing me? Are you listening? Are, have you heard me or not? Yeah, so sometimes we get like that and we feel like that because the situation becomes too much for us. And then we're like, I don't know where God is and our back is against the wall and nobody is there to help us and nobody is there to do anything for us. You might not have money in your house or might not have money in your pocket, food in your house or nothing. And you're like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm at the end of the road. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I don't know who I can call right now. And then you'll be like, well, God, what I'm going to do? You got me sitting here. This is the time, guys, when you get like that, when something like this happens, you really, really, really have to trust God no matter what. Even if it hurts, you still got to trust him. Even if you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, you still got to trust him. Even if you know that you don't got nothing to eat, still trust him. All right, so let us look at Matthew 28 and 20. Matthew 28 and 20 tells us, it says, Matthew 28 and 20 tells us, and teaching them to obey everything. I have commanded you and surely I am with you always to the very end of the earth. So this is saying that God is with us always. He is with us always, even to the very end, and even to the um, even to the very end of our age. He is with us always, no matter what we go through. We have to understand that God is with us. You might physically, physically, right now we can't see Him, but He is a spirit, and He is with us always, all the time. And you just have to believe that He's standing right next to you, saying, "Listen, I got you." I'm going to tell you what I need you to do so that you can make it out of this storm, so that you can make it out of this particular situation that you're in right now. And then he's going to tell you, okay, listen, this is this this is just this is just uh, for a couple of weeks that you're going to be going through this. This is just a test that you might be going through this. This is just this is just a little exam that you might have to do. But sometimes we let people get in our heads. We let the devil get in our heads. We allow people to talk about, we allow people to come in and tell us different. And instead of listening to what God got to say, instead of listening to what God got to tell us, instead of listening to what God has to say, you understand? We allow, we allow that to happen. We allow that to happen. Yes. And then we were like, God, are you there? I don't see you. I don't feel you. You got me sick. I'm laid up here in this hospital. I haven't been able to work. And God is saying, well, if you would listen to me and, and you would change your diet, and if you would listen to me and put away the smoke and put away the drinking, I can come and heal your body, but I can't do it when you continue drinking. I can't do it when you continue smoking. Yes. Sometimes God has already told you, listen, if you put away this stuff, I can bless you. If you put away this, I can come in and touch you. 
but I can't do it while there's a whole bunch of nonsense over there going on. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. So we have to understand. We have to understand that in order for us to, to for God to, to be in the midst, you got to believe that he's right there. You got to believe that he already answered your prayer. You got to believe that he already fixed the situation. You got to believe that he already fixed the problem. You got to believe it first. You can't be asking God, where are you? I don't know where you are. My house is flooded. My, my house is on fire. I just got in a car accident. Sometimes even some of these situations, big situations that we might get in, we be like, well, God, what I'm going to do now? Where are you? God, how did you let this happen? God was right there. Sometimes these things happen for a wake-up call. Yes. Sometimes these things happen because many times we get, we become a little bit too stagnant in certain situations, certain places. You understand? So, however, let us look at Isaiah 41 and 10. Sorry, guys. Isaiah 41 and 10 tells us. Isaiah 41 and 10. Isaiah 41. Yes, Isaiah 41 and 10. It says, So you do not fear. So you do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with the with my righteousness. I will uphold you with my righteousness, my right, with the righteousness of right of my right hand. Yes, guys. So God is telling us that don't fear. I am with you. I got you. He's going to uphold you with his righteousness of his right hand. He is going to be with you always. Don't fear. Even though that you might not see that there is a blessing coming or that there's the morning is coming and you're not going to cry anymore. You're not going to weep anymore. You're not going to suffer anymore. And the doctor is still giving you bad news that things is not looking right for you. Baby, I'm telling you, God say, don't fear. How can we say that he is our shepherd? How can we call him? How can we call him? How can we call him our God and Jesus and all of this if we don't believe? And how can we say that he is our shepherd? And all of this, if you don't believe that he's your protector, if you don't believe that he got you, if you don't believe that you're sitting in the palm of his hands, if you don't believe that, how can we say that he's our shepherd and um and he is your salvation? How can we say all of this? If we do not believe in you know, it's one thing to say that God is your shepherd. It's one thing to say that he is your salvation. But you first have to believe it. You first have to believe these things so that you won't fear when you get into trials and tribulations and bad situations that might come your way. That might come your way, baby. That just might come your way. That just might come your way. We have to know and understand that when these things happen, God is standing right in the midst. He's in the midst of it all. The midst of it all, baby. He's in the midst of it all. You got to believe it. And, and, and know that he is there no matter what. No matter what. Know that he is there, no matter what. Yeah. 
See, it's one thing for us to say that you have faith the size of a mustard seed. But baby, we all have been in situations where it blowed our mind. And the only thing we, the only thing we were like, well, I got to have some serious faith for this one. Yes. That faith deep down inside, baby, you got to have it. Because there's a lot of big situations that may occur. That is going to blow your mind. Yes. Yes. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. While you are in your situation. You got to encourage yourself. Speak over yourself. And tell yourself that you got this. Tell yourself you can do it. Tell yourself you got this. You understand what I'm saying? That it's going to be okay. That God got you no matter what. That you will survive. That you are made whole. Yes. Our last scripture for today will be Hebrews 13 and 5. So we're going to look at Hebrews 13 and 5. Um, Hebrews 13 verses 5. And it tells us, keep your life. Free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has because because God has said not neither will I leave you. Ne um what uh, sorry, because God said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So he's Saying, keep your life free. Enjoy your life. Don't be the lover of money, of earthly things, or fall in love with all these things. Be content because he is always going to be with you. He's always going to give you. He's always going to bless you. He's always going to give you the desires of your heart. If you would do just what he said he he wants you to do and he will not have forsake you the psalmist david says one um in, in there's a psalm that says um one thing that he desire that he will seek after but mostly what he wants to do is to dwell in the house of the lord you understand what i'm saying guys all we have to do is just dwell in god's house and i promise you you will make it through your storm through your trial this morning, through your sickness, through your heartache, through your depression, through whatever you are feeling right now, you will make it. If you just put your faith and trust in Jesus, you will make it. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. I promise you, you will make it. You will make it. All you have to do is put your faith and put your trust in God. Yes, you know, put your faith and trust in God. Many times, you know, there's a lot of different situations that we all go through with when you're feeling like your friend doesn't like you anymore or you grew a relationship with someone and all of a sudden they stop calling you. All of a sudden they, they, um, they showing their colors or... You connect with someone right here on YouTube and then all of a sudden they stop messing with you or you, you're trying to build your channel or whatever you're trying to do and you feel like you are in a rock and a hard place. Put God first in every situation that you do. But even so, in, in real life, in real, real talk, see, many times when you meet people and you meet, you talk to folks, guys, if they're not like-minded, and if they don't have the God in them, baby, the relationship is going to die. The relationship is going to die because we first have to understand not everybody is true and not everybody has the agape love. Not everybody loves you for real. Some people come and talk to you for gossip. Some people come and talk to you because they ain't got nothing else to do. And some people actually love you for you, regardless of what. So don't get bent out of shape over spilled milk. Don't get bent out of shape if the person will never call, if the person will never share a video, if the person will never 
comment on a video because some of us do it. We talk to a person two months and then the next time turn around because we even have their phone numbers too. Yes, we even have their personal line and we talk to the person day in and day out. The next thing you know, the person come out with a video. You don't see them in the live. You don't see them commenting or anything, but that other person is showing 100%. This is the type of love we give. And some of these people like get bent out of shape. They go through storms. They go through all of this nonsense because they really thought they had a friend. This is why some of us right here on YouTube land, they don't get personal with many folks on here because some people hurt people feelings on here because of the stuff they do. And that and many people, they just run away from being on YouTube because of stuff we as black and brown folks do right here, right here. But I'm here to tell you, you can make it. Don't worry about people. They got stuff going on and they don't want to be bothered with you. One minute they like you, next minute they don't. A lot of people are out here for subjects and motives. Subjects and motives. Learn who is not out here for subjects and motives, baby. Trust me. A lot of folk are out here for subjects and motives. Learn who is. Christ wasn't about subjects and motives. He was for everybody. He was for all people. He loves all people. He loved all people. I cannot understand with some, you know, right here in the YouTube land community, I cannot understand how some people get so highfalutin and their channels is not even over 10K, 15K but they think they have arrived and they burn bridges and they burn relationships. They was just talking to Susie May two months ago, but they stopped talking to Susie May, stopped calling Susie May on the personal line. Fine. You don't know how that person really feels about you. You don't know if you really hurt that person's feelings or if you build a connection. Now that person can't even get past what they're going through right now. But they can if they put their faith and their trust in God. This is why you always let God, you put God first in the situation before you enter into the relationship. Use discernment in anything that you are going through in life. Learn how to use discernment. You, it will help you to to basically identify who the person really is. It will help you, baby. It will help you. It will help you. It will help you to know and, uh, and, and identify who the person or who or she really is. But guys, I pray that you all enjoyed this video. I pray that you all got something from it. Please know in your storm, in your hurt, in your pain, you can make it. Put God first. The word tells us, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added on to us. So pray and pray without ceasing. And also when you pray, believe. You understand? Believe that God is standing right next to you. Believe that God hears your prayer. Believe that God hears your cry and that he is touching your body and that he's going to provide money for you. He's going to provide food for you. Believe when you, when you do it. So guys, remember to also pray for those that you see and also remember to pray for those that you don't see. All right, guys, I love you, my yes, honeys. Remember to pray for those that you see and also remember to pray for those that you don't see. Love you, my yes, honeys. Everybody, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, people? Coming to you live.